Hey, what up, Big Daddy? And cereal. Duke Southern Grill. And today we're making Duke Southern Grill spaghetti pie. Yo, what is that? Yo, to find out, watch the video, be easy, subscribe. And don't forget to like. Hi guys, it's Sari. So today we're making my version of spaghetti pie. So I tried to find the origin of spaghetti pie and basically it's an excellent way to use leftover spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to do a little twist on it. So today what you'll need is one pound of spaghetti. One pound, you want to make sure that's boiled. Um, you need one pound of burger or chicken. You need um, one bell pepper, one onion, and four cloves of garlic diced. You need a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of parsley, oregano, and rosemary. You need uh, 28 ounces of marinara sauce, and the recipe will be for that marinara sauce will be with the video. You're gonna need a cup of ricotta cheese, and a cup of mozzarella cheese. All right, so that's the recipe, so let's get cooking. So I have the ground beef cooking in the pan. We got the noodles cooking over there. And to this ground beef, you just wanna add your seasoning. Okay. And you wanna get this cooked up a little bit before you add your veggies. Now, I know you know this, but they don't know this. So, about, I don't know, 75% way through the cooking of the burger, drain out that excess fat before they add in the veggies, right? You beat me to saying it. Okay. But, yeah, you want to make sure that you drain out all the extra fat because you don't want that in your spaghetti pie. All right, so it's about halfway done. So, we can go ahead and add the veggies now, right? Or should I wait? No, let that cook a little more and we can come back. Okay. All right, so I'm going to let this cook and we'll be back. All right, bye guys. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you all of the fat that was in the burger. See, that's why you need to drain it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drain it and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we're going to add our vegetables to our beef. We just drained it. We're going to stir this up. And now we want these veggies to cook for about five minutes. And you want to, um, until they're a little bit of translucent. All right, and let's turn this down a little bit. You want to have that in like medium high heat. All right, and now we want to check our pasta. So you think it might be done. Can you see that, how it's nice and lit? Yeah, that's done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and strain this and we'll be right back. Hey guys, okay, so we're gonna get the crust ready. So we have about half of our spaghetti noodles in a bowl. To that, we wanna crack one egg, one large egg. And we wanna do about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. You do freshly grated, or you could do the stuff you buy in the shaky container. Whatever is easier for you. Just this is supposed to be a quick, simple, inexpensive meal. Yeah, this is just a quick, simple, inexpensive meal. Alright, so now this is all mixed up. So now we want to just press this into the pan. Make sure you get all of the good bits out of this bowl. <laughs> you, can, you and your good bits. <laughs> and voila, there we are. There's the crust to our spaghetti pie. All right, and we'll be back. Hey guys, so we're back. So we want to add our meat and veggies to our sauce, which we've had simmering. 
So it's nice and hot. And then we're going to start layering the fun part. So if you guys have kids, you can have them count the layers. You can get them in a kitchen, get them involved. Okay. Just be careful just, around the hot stove. Yeah, stuff. just be careful around the hot stove. Yeah. Alright, so we have our base layer of the spaghetti noodles. Now we want to add our ricotta. And you want to just smear that into the noodles. It should just be a thin layer. Yeah, you know Big Daddy don't really like ricotta. I know you don't like ricotta, Daddy. But, but, if, but if, if they like a lot, they can put as much as they want. Yeah, you guys can put as much as you want. Daddy doesn't really like ricotta. So we won't be putting a lot. You see, just a nice layer. Let me lift up so you guys can see it. Okay. So next, you want to add your meat sauce. You want to add about half of the meat sauce. Yeah. A little less. A little less. And just make sure that's all evened out. Next, you want to add cheese. Lots of mozzarella cheese. About four ounces. I was told to say that you should have about four ounces. <laughs> but as you see, you want to you want to make sure that the cheese covers the sauce layer. Then you add your next layer, the last layer of noodles. Now, as you see, it's nice and, and deep. Okay. Then you want to add the other half of your ricotta. Then you want to add your meat sauce. Now be careful because this is the top layer, so you don't want it to be too, too saucy. So I would say add about a quarter of what's left. You know, of course you guys use your own judgment. Yeah, a quarter to a third. They could have a deeper pan. Yeah, you guys could have a deeper pan. And then, last but not least, we top with mozzarella cheese. And give them a little bit of idea that... That is about what 12 inches, about three inches deep. That pan you're working with, yeah. And let me just get a close up for you guys. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so you guys want to bake this for about 35 minutes in a preheated 350 degree oven to the top cheese is bubbly, and you'll notice that it's going to be a little bit firmer than your traditional spaghetti. All right, you guys, I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. Bye. Hey guys, so we're back. And so I just wanted to let you guys know, no meal is complete without a vegetable. And so today I took a squash, a zucchini, and half an eggplant, and I sliced those up and I got them sauteing with about a half an onion and about a half of a uh, red bell pepper. And um, I got that sauteing up. It'll probably take maybe seven minutes. But I also wanted to show you guys something really cool that Big Daddy had told me about. So I had taken Big Daddy's split top rolls and I rubbed them in um, a half a stick of butter, a teaspoon of garlic, and about a handful of Parmesan cheese and just rubbed the whole roll in it. And I'm going to put that in the oven and it's going to bake off for five minutes. Alright, so when we come back I'm going to show you the finished product of everything. Bye. Doesn't that look good? Guys, that's our spaghetti pie. Baked for about 30 minutes at 350. And look at that cheese bubbling. It's gorgeous. Okay, guys. So here it is. Looks great, doesn't it? Well, we made it together. So we have our spaghetti pie. We have our vegetables. And we have our rolls. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Make sure that you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. And um, remember that the marinara sauce recipe will be under the video. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.